Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at how to use Windows license on another PC. Now, if you have a brand new PC or another computer that's not activated and you want to use the same license on that computer, then you can, but there's a few criteria that you have to follow to make sure that you can do that. So first off, you can see we do have Windows 11 Pro activated here. And if I wanted to use this key on another machine, I can, but as long as it's a retail key, and you're only activating it on one computer at any one time. So you can't have it on multiple computers. It can only be activated on one PC at a time, unless you're using one of those dodgy keys that you get off the internet that has, you know, like a volume key that activates on multiple computers. So let's go through some of the terms and conditions that you're gonna need to be able to achieve this. So first off, retail licenses will they allow you to transfer the license from one PC to another, but you can only have it activated on one PC at a time. Retail licenses will allow you to upgrade from Windows 10 or Windows 11 from home to pro without having to reinstall uh, Windows. But an OEM key, you'll have to do a fresh install and then activate uh, Windows. So OEM keys are tied to the computer and can only be activated on that PC and it's tied to the PC for the life of that PC. If you change out the motherboard and the CPU, then that's deemed as a new computer, and you'll probably have to reactivate Windows. An OEM key is a one-time use key. It's activated that version of Windows. It can't be transferred. So if you have got a, a key on the system, you don't know what it is, then you can use something like Show Key Plus or any other software you choose to have a look at what type of key you have. So download the software, it's free to download. You can install it on your PC and basically you should see something looking like this. If this tells you your product ID and your original key and it tells you what key it is and it says it's a retail key, then you can use this on another machine. If it says it's an OEM key or it doesn't present you a key because it's in the firmware, then it's an OEM key or digital key, and this cannot be transferred. If you require other keys, you can use CD Key Sales, which is the sponsor of this video, where you can purchase Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC 2019 uh, key, which will give you activation up to 2025 or 2029 extended, I think. You can use my promo code capital B capital R09 and get a 35% discount on your order if you require a Windows 10 OEM key. Also, if maybe you're looking for a Windows 10 Pro OEM key, or maybe you're looking for a Windows 10 Home key, these will activate Windows a one-time use, and these will activate Windows as well, Windows 10 and Windows 11. If you're looking for a Windows 10 Pro retail key, these are the more desirable keys, but they're more expensive because basically you can activate Windows in the same way but these can be transferred to other computers, especially if you get rid of the computer, you can deactivate it and transfer it to another PC. If you're looking for a Windows 10 Pro OEM key, you can just use my promo code capital B capital R09, apply that to your order and get a 35% discount. And this will give you a nice juicy discount as you can see here. You'll need to set up an account with CD Key Sales. Once you get your key, you can then activate your version of Windows on your new PC. So let's go ahead and I'll show you quickly how to deactivate Windows. So first you're gonna to need to open up Command Prompt by typing CMD and run this as administrator. So to see what type of license you have, you can type this command in here. Once you type it out, push enter, and this is gonna tell you what version of Windows you got, Windows Pro Edition or Windows Home. It'll also tell you whether it's a retail key, an OEM key or any other version key like MAK key or volume key. So really you're looking for retail key to be able to transfer this to another PC. So if you see an OEM key here, then you're not gonna be able to transfer that key. Now, if you do wanna get yourself a key, I'll leave some links in the video description where you can pick yourself up a retail key or you can purchase one of those OEM keys for your new PC. Let's go ahead and uninstall the key by using this command. This command is gonna be able to uninstall this product key from this computer. Remember, it needs to be a retail key. You can see uninstalled product key successfully. We can now click OK, 
and the key has now been uninstalled from this PC. We're not done yet, we still need to remove any remnants left behind in the registry, and this means that once we do this, uh, whoever you're giving this PC to will be able to then reactivate it with their own key. So use this command to clear the license from the registry and push enter, and you should see something like product key from the registry cleaned successfully. Click OK and then restart your PC and you will now have a deactivated version of Windows. If your PC is still activated, that means that you've got an OEM key on there and it's tied to the motherboard's BIOS and it's not going to be able to be deactivated. It's locked to that hardware. So restart your PC. Once you're restarted, you can then go to search and type CMD to open up the command prompt. So we're going to go ahead and do that right here. And you should see another prompt box opening up. And then you can uh, type in this command here again, which is the first command. And it says error product key not found. That's because it's been removed from the PC. Your PC has now been deactivated. And you can now go to your new computer and activate uh, that PC or that version of Windows. So let's head over to that machine, head into where your activation is and put in your product key and basically click on activate and this will activate your version of Windows. Now remember, if you don't have an activated version of Windows and you need a cheap license key, then you can head over to CD Key Sales. Links are in the video description and you'll be able to purchase a key over there and obviously activate your version of Windows in the way I showed you. Very simple and easy to do. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Also, I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Also, if you've joined my Discord server and you are a YouTube member like one of these guys here, then give me a shout on Discord and I'll give you the appropriate role. Anyway, have a nice day and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.